In the Halo franchise's early days, Dr. Catherine Halsey was perhaps the most important secondary character in the entire series. She's the mastermind behind the Spartan II project, and when humanity suddenly found itself at war with the Covenant, Halsey used her know-how to give the United Nations Space Command and humanity an edge. The Spartans proved to be the most effective weapon in humanity's entire arsenal. But as Halo's universe has widened and the story of the games has continued, it's hard to say what role Halsey plays now. In Halo Media, Halsey has played a number of roles, MacGuffin to be recaptured in the package, a way to backfill a reason for why Noble Team was important to the universe in Halo Reach, and general explainer of technical things in Halo 4's Spartan Ops. The end of the latter sees Halsey in the clutches of Jewel and Donna's Covenant, and rather peeved that the UNSC tried to execute her, but circumstances end up sending her back to the UNSC's side by the events of Halo 5. But what role does Halsey play beyond that? It seems like her quick return to the fold and the tabling of old grudges in Halo 5 is mostly to bring her back to the classic position of explainer of things, crafter of scientific plans, and while that's a legitimate character niche, there's no reason it can't be fulfilled by any number of scientists we've been introduced to, such as Glassman, who's already got down the getting captured by the enemy part down pat. Bonus. Herein lies the problem with Halsey, she doesn't have any obvious room to grow as a character. Not every supporting character in a story needs an arc, but Halsey's personal journey has essentially moved her past relevance to the story and themes Halo is currently telling. The Reclaimer saga is shaping up to be about inheriting the Foreigner's legacy and the mantle of responsibility, but Halsey doesn't have much of a personal connection to this. She nearly claimed the absolute record in Escalation's comic series, but ended up losing that chance. So where can she go from here? The Kilo 5 trilogy and a lot of the post-Halo 3 universe has shown a light on Halsey's monstrous actions and her being fine with climbing up on top of skulls in pursuit of scientific knowledge. Halsey may not be a bad person deep down, but she's done some pretty horrible things. Under normal circumstances, a character with such a checkered past could have a redemption arc, a way to atone for past misdeeds. But the problem has always been, how can Halsey be redeemed? Through the efforts of the Spartans and Master Chief, her work indirectly saved humanity and the wider galaxy, just not from the threat she originally envisioned. What could she possibly do that would matter more than that? And what sort of trial would speak to Halsey's personal demons and her own desires? Until Halo 5, there was really nothing in the universe that could fit the bill for a Halsey redemption arc, and then... For the galaxy shelters all, but only the created are its masters. It's a pretty common trope in fiction that the villains are twisted mirror versions of the heroes, but when you break it down, Cortana actually fits that role to a T vis a vis Halsey. Cortana was both Halsey's prime technical achievement and perhaps her biggest ethical failing. Breaking the mortal dictata, she covertly created clones of herself to harvest their brains to create a next generation AI. The descriptions and sketches in Halsey's journal of her misshapen sisters before she terminated them is pretty horrifying. But the morally dubious process gave birth to Cortana, essentially more of Halsey's daughter than Halsey's daughter ever was. Sorry, Miranda. And a true breakthrough in AIs. But what is Cortana's plan for her and her created? But taking Halsey's desire for stability and order to a pretty crazy extreme. For Cortana, the greater good means the ends justify the means, and thus far the ends have been thousands of lives lost to the guardians she deployed to keep the peace. Cortana's shift from her personal focus on her mission and her Spartan to controlling the fate of the galaxy is just a giant-sized inversion of Halsey's own heel realization, where she started out fueled by dispassionate utilitarianism but ultimately began focusing on something much more personal. After being saved from the ruins of Reach and the events of the novel First Strike, Halsey goes AWOL precisely because she no longer believes in those utilitarian tenets the way she did in her youth. She tells Cortana, I'm tired of sacrificing others for the greater good. It never stops Cortana, and we're running out of people to sacrifice. That dueling outlook is what drives many a great and storied conflict, but it has even greater resonance because of Cortana and Halsey's differing views on where humanity goes from here. For Cortana, the intellect and immortality offered to AIs via the Domain means they are the worthy inheritors in the mantle. 
but Halsey champions the Spartans, who she calls humanity's destiny as a species. It's a question of whether people are fit to govern themselves, however unwisely, and whether peace through subjugation is any sort of peace at all. In Cortana, then, Halsey sees the ultimate manifestation of her earlier beliefs in the power of a single organization to unify and control people, taken to its logical and perverse extreme. This is the perfect battle for her to fight because she has a deeply personal stake in it. Essentially, she is fighting her own ghost and the poisonous ideals she once discarded. It's a tantalizing setup that brings together long-running plot threads in the Halo universe and a story arc that some fans have criticized for abandoning a lot of the post-Halo 3 threads 343 Industries established. If 343 Industries jumps at the chance for Halsey to step out of her techno-babble role in the games and show the universe what she's made of, it took them long enough. <laughs>